the southwest Pacific, 500 miles from the Philippines, are the Palaos, westernmost of the Japanese-mandated islands. On a tiny one called Peleliu, the Japs have a good airstrip. We must seize it to protect our invasion of the Philippines. It will also help us cut off a great chain of enemy strongholds loaded with troops. We begin by softening it up, bombing, strafing. Navy planes from fast carrier forces strike first. 3,000 sorties are flown, dropping over two and a half million pounds of bombs. ships of all types. It requires three Navy men afloat to put one soldier or Marine ashore. The first Marine Division is in those transports over there. They'll take Peleliu. And in these is the 81st Army Division. They'll take Angar six miles south, which also must be held before Peleliu is secure. D minus one. Those who can have a bath. All have a good meal. Man your battle stations. Close all watertight doors and hatches. Assault force is buttoned up, ready for action. There's the signal. 30 seconds to go. Turrets are loaded with 2,000 pound projectiles, 200 pounds of powder. And 300 heavy guns train on the target. Ready? Commence firing. During three days and nights, the Navy will pour 6,000 tons of hot steel on the island. Take those small guns, the 40 millimeters. They alone will fire 100,000 shells. The big guns, 70,000. 12 million pounds of punishment. The enemy is well dug in over there, holed up in strong pillboxes and deep caves. This will kill a lot of them, soften up their defenses. The Marines will have the bulk of the Jap strength left to face when they get ashore.
six miles away, soldiers of the 81st Army Division are landing. This is their first engagement. Like the Marines, their combat strength is around 15,000 men. Reinforcements and supply echelons double that figure. It required 20 transports to bring the 81st to this beach. Again, 
imagine the pattern of war in the Pacific. Landing craft, tanks, assault waves driving in to establish a beachhead. attempted to bring up reinforcements during the night. They were repulsed, but a few concealed themselves on these sunken boats. Snipers. on record, from the airstrip to Bloody Nose, a thousand yards. Inland, the Marines are struggling yard by yard for Bloody Nose Ridge. It's made to order for the Jap system of defense. Ridges, sharp peaks, vertical cliffs, deeply gutted depressions, all held in a crossfire from caves and pillboxes.
are mounting now, even among the combat cameramen. Nine fell taking these pictures. Elements of the 81st Army Division, tanks, infantry, come over from Angar to help out. over. More than 300 prisoners. From a tree-covered stronghold, Bloody Nose Ridge has been reduced to a scarred heap of rubble strewn with Jap dead. Over 10,000 of them. And we have what we came after, the airstrip. But we have something more. By typical operations like this and Iwo Jima, we have cut off a quarter of a million Jap troops in the islands of the Pacific. And this fighting must go on without pause until the Pacific War is won.